questions about how we hang our towers. Um, it seems that people are a little unclear on, you know, how they're supposed to do it, the exact way to do it. They want to know what the easiest way is. Um, so I'll tell you. We, uh, we use Zipro towers. These are the towers that we uh, manufacture. Uh, and we're kind of toning it down right now. We're getting ready to move to a new greenhouse. So the greenhouse isn't quite full. But uh, you can kind of get an idea here. We, we basically use salvaged and cheapo tubing, steel tubing and pipes, whatever we can find. You see we've got <laughs> some galvanized half-inch steel pipe back there that I probably pulled out of a dumpster somewhere. And uh, we've got electrical conduit here, and this looks like uh, either heavy electrical conduit or actually a fence post. So you can see we just kind of grab this stuff. Um, this is our little play around system over here. But it's basically rigged up the same way that almost everything else in here is. It's just a little bit more messy. But I thought, you know, it would, it would basically illustrate the best way to kind of hang these things up for the person at home who's just wanting to hang some fun towers up for fun and do it on the cheap. So the way that we do this is we basically just set this uh, pole up. You can put them on posts. You can put them on, you know, put two vertical poles or posts on either end and just put the, the, your pole spanning it, your beam, your bar, uh, whatever you're using. And uh, for us, we've just got it hooked onto our greenhouse superstructure here and zip tied in place. Zip ties are wonderful. Or zip ties and duct tape, right? And then uh, basically we run our, our irrigation tubing, okay, just half inch uh, polyethylene pipe, and we run that underneath our pole. And we use zip ties, you can kind of see, like right there, we use a zip tie to, to hold it in place and to keep it from moving around. We use just your basic rainbird or cheapo kind of drip emitters. But you can see, you know, they're just basically flow through. There's no membrane in there. You don't want a membrane. Um, and these work in systems where there's really low system solids, okay? So if you don't have a whole lot of solids circulating in your system, these things work great. If you do have lots of solids, um, we use half inch PVC with just holes drilled in it to, to irrigate the tops of the towers. And I would recommend for everyone, this is a side note, that you oversize your pump or you install valves on your lines. So you can open a valve and blow your line out and it saves you the trouble of manually going through, pulling the, you know, your little thing and blowing it out or doing whatever it takes to, to clean these things out. So, that's basically how the irrigation tubing works. And we just run that constantly. Um, you'll find that if you run your pumps constantly, you save a lot of money on burned out pumps in the long run. So, Burned out pumps cost a lot more than electricity in my experience. So the towers, we basically just take our hanger, okay? And these are some of our crappy old prototype hangers that don't work great. But um, you can see we just hang our towers up over our irrigation tubing. And we can kind of move those around uh, however we need to to get our, our uh, irrigation tubing uh, where we want it and drain to the top of the tower. Sometimes it helps when you've got new seedlings to kind of direct that irrigation forward a little bit so you're getting it around those really young, really delicate root balls. Um, then as they mature and they send roots to the back of the tower, we direct all of our irrigation to the rear. But if you're using a mature enough seedling, it probably won't matter. Uh, it's just kind of common sense using your head. But that's how almost all of our um, tower hanging goes. It's just really simple, really not complicated. If you look up here on, on these towers, you'll see that we're using Unistrut, okay? So this is a really uh, cheap kind of metal strut, and we use conduit clamps to basically hold down, uh, to hold the fixed black pipe to that uh, conduit, or that Unistrut. So once that black pipe is fixed to that unit strut, we just hang the towers just like we do over here. It just looks a little cleaner and prettier and nicer.